Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys, I want to play the Supernova because I was fiddling around with single heat sinks and therefore we're gonna take a Mac that can boat them reliably. Look at this beauty! We have an XL Engine 300, we got two heavy large lasers, six ER medium lasers, the classic laser vomit or the, the new laser vomit with the heavy lasers and then we have 45 single heat sinks. Now, why single heat sinks? Because they have a heat capacity of 0.75. If I went over to double heat sinks, you can see that they have a heat capacity of, come on, show me, 0.5. That means that we have a way higher heat threshold when we use single heat sinks. On top of that, we can just stack more of them into a single Mac because they only take up one slot. And uh, while the double heat sinks have a heat dissipation rate of 0.22, I'm gonna quickly reset and see, the standard heat sinks have a heat dissipation rate of 0.14, but we just have more of them. And that means that um, the heat dissipation rate is quite the same, but we have an overall higher heat threshold. That means we can fire more alpha strikes. And that means that we can stay in the fights longer, that we can be more active with the mech. And yeah, that's basically what we do today. So we have a supernova stacked up with a lot of heat management and uh, the build, you, you know that, you know the laser vomit combination, but you can see that it is so amazing when you are able to fire and fire and fire and fire and you don't run that hot. Now, uh, the skill build <laughs> looks like this. We have invested into the classic laser vomit firepower tree with the laser duration, with the heat management here and with a bit of cooldown and range, of course. Then we have invested into maximum survivability because um, the mech and the, the build has a quite a lot of a burn time, quite a long burn time. And that means you will face the enemy a long time. And that means that um, you need some HP to take the return fire. That's the idea here. No mobility, no jump jets, but full operation, almost full operations. I was just skipping quick ignition, speed retention, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Quick ignition and speed retention. We got everything else. We got the gyros, we got the heat containment, we got the cool run. The maximum of it. No sensors here, this time even no rated deprivation, but double cool shot and a UAV. This is the build everybody, I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day, we are playing the Rubelite Oasis, we are playing the Domination Mode and we will go to Echo 6. I think I'm gonna stay in low ground because low ground provides some cover and I don't want to necessarily push into the enemies quickly. So I want to stay at somewhat mid-range, about 400 meters or 400-500 meters would be optimal. And uh, I want to have my teammates around when we engage, so I am here for damage amplification. Is even a word? Also, why is this invisible wall th thing still going? No! This uh, gate here or this pillar blocked my shot, although it shouldn't. Okay, yeah. I just dealt half damage there. Half of the minimal damage that we dealt in the first place. Okay, uh, speaking of uh, damage dealing and uh, heat and all of that, I you can see the heat management is good. It's so damn good. Even on a hot map like Rubble Light Oasis there. Ah, right side, light mech. Would he peek again? 3, 2, 1. Yeah, he will. Oh, that was good. That felt so rewarding. Doing it again? Your, your artillery didn't come out properly. Once more. Ah, oh, okay. He ducked back to cover. Okay. Oh, that's fine. We have the big guys around us now. Dude, I, I really don't care about your, your stuff there. Really. Don't. don't. Okay? We're gonna, we're gonna push you now. Now, uh, as I was saying, low ground, low ground for the first phase of the game. I do not want to go anywhere else. What is this? A spider? Little spiderling there. Okay. Acquired. Okay. What's he running? How, how damaged is he? I want to see. Can we get some info? Yeah, no, we did a bit. A bit. Two ER mediums and um, what is that? A laser AMS. Ah, okay. That's a spider 5 e Yeah. Target. What would you do with that? Other than something like uh, what we show, what we see here. Um, there was a UAV, so I'm curious if there's still an enemy. I think this is an old UAV and nobody's there anymore. So we're gonna orientate ourselves more to the center of the map, like this. Okay, good. Am I blocked or am I just so slow? I couldn't really tell. Oh, perfect! And as you can see, we can throw two of those big alphas out without getting into heat trouble, and not into much heat trouble, at least. There's a guy still. I want to kill that guy. I want to destroy him. I didn't get it, but it doesn't matter, because I didn't use ammo. Okay, is that gonna be a push? Now the Kodiak is gonna rip me apart. We are not pushing this. We're gonna wait here for the Javelin, for example. Leg is open! 
Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, if this Blood Asp is coming up, I'm ready for him. But now I have to watch a very broad flank here. Leg, okay. Javelin's leg down below. Let's get his leg. The other one, ah! Okay, I didn't know that the fire would come out so quickly. Okay, but again, it's a ja leg Javelin. What will he do to us? It's another guy. Yeah. Burning them. I'm taking it slow here because I can. As, oh, oh. Was that friendly? Uh, I have a backstabber in Echo 5. I need help. Echo 5. It's a cicada. Okay, so I think we drove him off. We'll be down there. And I think it's time to go for the big guys. We are down by a bunch of people now. Which means that we should really level the field. By, again, getting some kills in return. Uh, I want to push the Nova Cat. Why did he get shot? Why did he get destroyed? Okay, Gauss Rifles from the outskirts. Yeah, from there. Can we do it? Ah, oh, he's almost dead. Bravo, bravo, bravo. The Warhammer down there. Okay. Dead is a kill. What's it about this guy? Who shot? I will go for him. Uh, uh, pushing up to the Vindicator. Oh, the team is extremely split. That's a kill as well! Drilling through them like a boss. This guy needs to go. Uh, we can definitely kill him. He's just standing there. Okay. It wasn't a kill. I think it was worth the override though. Uh huh. I have no idea how damaged he is. I really want him off the battlefield, but I cannot go any further. Uh, I don't care about the spider. I care about those guys. Let's go. Sikaida! Ah, oh, team is falling apart. Gotta be careful. Okay. Ah, uh, this was the spider again. I really didn't want to shoot him so much. Uh huh. Side also is very critical. There he is. We have arms. Oh, dudes, be careful with your friendly fire. Nice job there, by the way. Got him. Uh, overheating, overheating. Oh, six and eight. There's a fire starter. We need to get his legs. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Come on. There's that. Seven and eight. Next guy is in the bottom. Wow, are we gonna make it here? I have no idea. Holy cow, what a game. Ah, it's a roughneck, why is it a roughneck? And he has machine guns. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. So we go for the last thing that I can do, which is die. <laughs> but hey guys, we got five kills here. That was the laser drill. Sick loadout? <laughs> it was, it was. Okay, I don't know if we can win this. Somehow my team died. I, I had no track uh, of what was happening there. Um, the Raven has kill capacity on the rough. Eh, no, not really. He has a lot of structure. I mean, the front armor is basically zero. It's nothing anymore. No, that's your friend, man. That's your friend. <laughs> um, ah, the Enforcer still has two large lasers. Together, they might be doing it. He is so cord, guys. Kill the rough knight. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Maybe you can snatch it off. I mean, the, the timer is ticking on the on the circle anyway. And we have a raven with uh, three mediums and arc. I think that's not gonna work. But okay, it was a good game, guys. It was very, very intense. Still fighting, though. I appreciate that, by the way. I appreciate that the people are fighting to the end. That's really cool to see. But if he wants to get a kill here, he has to be really aggressive because the timer is ticking down. He has 10 seconds, 8 now. And that's it. GG, guys. GG. That was pretty cool. Okay, first test run over. I hope that we can get on a cold map where I can uh, shoot even more and even faster. Alrighty. We had 5 killing blows, uh, 4 solo kills, 5 kill most damage dealt, uh, 856 damage done and 10 components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. 
Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexes, we are playing Conquest, and uh, while this map is colder, uh, and we have a heat buildup of 60 something percent, um, the map is a bit more spread, and I think we will get into a little bit of trouble finding our spot within the, the whole situation here. But hey guys, we're gonna try anyway, and what I wanna do is, uh, I wanna go to the uh, Hotel 6 area, because the enemies will probably be first on that hill there. Oh, there's a guy, see that? Spotted. spotted him um, and then there is uh, probably a rotation into the Fox 7 area soon and uh, it, it might be that we fight in the Fox 7 Golf 7 area that's what I expect so I want to be in Golf 6 and or Hotel 6 and wait for them to come let's see trying to stay away from the enemies as long as possible because if they have long range I'd be softened up so much and uh, we have quite a lot of face time so I need my armor for the later game Let's see. Uh, that's a Shadowhawk with uh, SRM LBX brawling setup. If that guy gets close, I'm dead. <laughs> let's try to not let that happen. Uh, guys, let's uh, uh, go six, maybe? No? Oh god, you're dead. There's a Jenna. There's a Jenna at your tail, man. Uh, actually, he has some He has some more assault mechs around. I wouldn't really engage the light mechs there. Why, why are you doing this? I can help you by putting down the UAV. But this is not my spot. This is not my fight. Actually, he got them. That's very nice of you. Okay, cool. Uh, it seems that we are completely orientating to, to Kappa. Is the fight really happening there? Okay, it's a completely different dynamic from what I expect it to be. But, okay. Okay, if I'm engaging somebody here, I will be retaliated. I will get shot back so hard. I could have helped there, actually. Not anymore, though. No. Okay, Um, the Jenna needs to die. Delta. One shot. Okay. Can we? Acquired. That's a problem. I'm not suited for shooting light max. Not really. Okay. So, here we go, guys. Shouldn't chain fire. I want to wait for my Alpha Strike to get online again. Guys, we need help here in Echo 5. Uh, sorry, Golf 5. Golf 5, we are getting overrun. Okay, guys, let's focus. Shadowhawk first, Alpha. Shadowhawk got a good amount of damage already. I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling comfortable at all. We need support in Golf 5. And the Rifleman. If we destroy his rifle, like his arm there, that could be something. Yeah, so we got a good amount of damage off the field, thanks to the arm destruction. Just trying to limit their firepower. Um, I don't know. Center. Center, maybe side. Side would have been better there, in order to get some more firepower off the field. Blood Asp now. Mm -hmm. Blood Asp is scored, almost. Can kill him. I'm getting shot. Too much, too much. I need more friends around. At the very least, they are intimidated as well. So. What about this guy? Is that a kill? It is. Nice. Very good. So that's one enemy less on the battlefield. I want to get an angle on those guys down here. And we can, actually. Pretty good. So it wasn't uh, an optimal burn. I only shot my torso mounted weapons there. But it was something. We are too close, way too close. Let's fall back a bit. I, I need a better angle on them. And at the same time, I mean, we are falling apart as a team. Shadowhawk is still there, and as I was saying earlier, I'm quite of, quite scared of him. And shoot the arm weapons as well. Where's the Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk seemed to be down. And now... Uh, this guy. Yeah. Ah, this is working out quite fine. And as you can see, my heat management is so damn good. Yeah, light makes finishing everything up and we got it. Wow, I didn't expect that. I gotta be completely honest with you guys. I did not expect that we would survive this here. Because we were, sp we were pushing, we were pushed so hard. Want me? Come at me, bro. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Uh, we wait here. Yeah, that's a cool shot. And that's a kill. Can he destroy my side before I can kill him? Ah! Okay, somebody else got it. We got the KMDD though, the kill most damage dealt. By the way, by the way, if you're wondering, if you're new to this, uh, a kill most damage dealt. I got I got this question lately. Uh, is when you deal the most damage to a target, and um, then it eventually gets killed by wh whoever is gonna get the last hit on him, right? Could be you, could be an, uh, a friend. So, you deal a lot of damage to a single target and then somebody else kill steals it. <coughs> or you do it yourself. Ah, oh, there's the last guy. Okay, 700 meters. That means we can, if we can get an angle, we can shoot him. Ah, uh, it was maybe a little bit too early. 
but hey, we got damage out. And better shoot now when we have an angle than waiting for the perfect range, right? Yeah, and he, as you can see, this guy's the last enemy on the field, and he is getting pushed by our light lance, and he is running ATM, so he cannot defend himself anymore. The ATMs have a minimum range, and if you just face hug an ATM carrier, he has no damage capacity whatsoever apart from his secondary weapons. Now, there was a quite focused round here. I wonder how much damage we dealt, because I have a feeling that we weren't in the fight for too long. So I believe our overall score, like as in uh, uh, how much damage we dealt, is about 500, maybe 600, but nothing more than that. So all we need to do now is get Epsilon. Uh, even, even decapping is enough. Yeah, okay, that is enough. Cool, good job team. Also, I was off camera the whole time. I was like sitting here in the in the lower lower left corner. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. Let's have a look at the end score. Oh, honestly, what? I didn't expect that. Interesting. We had one killing blow, eight assists, three kill most damage dealt, and 733 damage done with three components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. That was the Supernova with the single heat sink build. I gotta say, I like it a lot because you have an amazing amount of sustain. If you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. If you want to support me, guys, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.